So, oh, I gotta check that in a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jupiter. So now it is that your girls recorded. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about this, man. Yo, yo, shout outs to you, gang. Appreciate you, gang. It's the seven types of toxic women. We were just talking about a level of toxicity. I haven't listened to Tyler's al album yet, but I've been meaning to do that. Um, but Beyonce's album I listened to. Beautiful. So the seven types of toxic women. So without further ado, y'all, let's get into this next video, y'all. Let's do it. Is like building anything else. You need a solid foundation. You need to work on yourselves layer by layer separately, but still as a unit. And the further you get, you realize I that see. even if you give the smallest thing enough, you <laughs> everything will come crashing down. I'm and sorry. that's why dating someone who you're compatible with, your twin flame even, is extremely important if you want a <laughs> relationship. So to keep you guys on the right path, I'm gonna be talking about the seven different types of toxic women. Also, don't take these jokes too seriously. A lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be talking about can go for both men and women. And if you like this video enough, I'll make a seven types of talk. Wait, hold on. I will make a seven different types of toxic men video as well. Enjoy. To start things off light, we got Miss Bark No Bite. Mm, when she get mad, she see red like that. All right. Mm, crazy. Ho her mental break so bad that you could call her Walt White. <laughs> These are the type of women that'll pick fights on their man's behalf. Nine times out of ten, fights the man in question cannot handle. Like she's standing somewhere and a six, eight, three hundred pounder bumps into her and she says, I'm gonna get my man. One, how are you not on the ground? That nigga is huge. Two, what the f do you think that nigga gonna do? It's like they actively seek out situations that they know that. This is the thing that kind of scares me about with these type of women because you're putting a man in these detrimental situations. We like I don't know if it is y'all remember this a dude talking like he did a commentary of just like oh yeah like them they start like niggas start arguing with my girl so now this nigga was fighting all different types of niggas rip his shirt was ripped up and everything like that and it's just like yo shorty please sometimes it is you do not need to go ahead and be like oh I'm gonna go get my man because if you know it is that your man is not equipped to handle that level of situation. Or he, that nigga was just thinking about something else and then you just put him in a whole level of endangerment. You don't really rock with that nigga the way it is that you say that you do. Because why would you want to put him in a dangerous situation? And if that nigga gets his ass whooped, are you going to stay with that man? What you, what you going to do when it is you put him in a situation where it is he got his ass whooped? Okay. <laughs> right? Blue, I was literally going to be like, oh, listen, why am I not VIP and T? You know? Their man can't handle. Like a girl could be dating Clark Kent and she would beef with someone wearing a bust down kryptonite chain. Now providing safety for your man <laughs> is important. I would say it's probably one of the most important things that you can provide as a man. So I'm not, so I'm not talking about situations where someone comes up to your girl and makes her uncomfortable. In that situation, nah, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna protect my woman. But if you as a woman are confronting people, purposely putting yourself in danger and then wanting protection, you're wilding. And now, with all six infinity stones, I shall bring balance to the universe. Stop! Huh? I'm gonna call my boyfriend. I'm calling Yo-Yo. Yo, I'm at the club and this man is trying me right now. Who the fuck trying my bait? Hey, shorty. <laughs> I am your boyfriend. Not the fuck special ops. You are not about to be sending me on missions. It don't even gotta be fights, bro. I seen this one video where it is, what's it called? Uh, where this moose was attacking like this couple's car and they were watching from their crib. And the whole time, this big ass moose is like destroying their car. The wife is saying the husband's name. I think his name was like Ralph or something like. The moose is beating up this car like a street fighter. And she's, the whole time she's just like, Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. It's like, what the f is Ralph gonna do? Hit that bitch with a Hadouken? It don't even gotta be fights. They'll expect miracles. Like, boom, my brother is right. an underground rapper and he does these local shows in Austin. And I remember this one time, I went to one of them. Now he's a... Uh... <laughs> Screamo rapper. So oh. he has Screamo rapper fans. Also, if you're into that type of stuff, um, you should check out his music. I'm in some of his songs. Give a fuck about your talk. Uh, run like running man, we doing. But yeah, since he's a Screamo rapper, oh. he has Screamo rapper fans. And they do stuff like mosh pits, jumping off of things, jumping into things. It's a lot of jumping. So I'm at his show, you know, just trying to support. But I'm not going to lie. I do not fit in, bro. This nigga's with mohawks, face tats. Oh, uh, what's, what's it called? Like alt. 
I think it's called alt alt clothing. I do not fit in. I am wearing an iron shirt and khakis. I look like a square. So I'm at his performance, and despite me not fitting in, it was actually a pretty cool experience. Got to meet some pretty cool people. Thank we're you dancing. for that, Jason. Brother is doing his thing, and it was going good until he yells, "Wash pit!" And it gets hectic immediately. I actually got punched in the face that day, but that's a story for another oh, time. Oh wow! The people start going crazy, so I go to this back wall and chill. And there's this couple standing next to me, and there's also a guy next to us in close proximity, and he's dancing. He's just doing his thing in the mosh pit, and then he gets hit, and he falls over, and a blick falls out of his pocket. Bro, someone hit this, and he lost his inventory on some Minecraft or Fortnite. And I'm just standing there looking at that hole in shock because I don't know if he's going to get up, get mad, and air the place out. I don't know if someone's going to accidentally stand on the piece and it's going to go off. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm looking for the nearest exit. And as I'm doing that, I actually meet eyes with the girl who was standing next to her man's. And instead of looking for an exit, she's tugging on her man's shirt like, oh my God, do something. Like, what do you want him to do? Make a citizen's arrest? I don't know. Right. Something about that is just funny to me. Her mans was big, though, so she probably just felt really secure. Anyways, next we got Miss He's Just a Friend. I actually have female friends. One of my best friends, someone who's in one of my videos, actually, is a female. Inyong, my friend from Korea. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. Me and Inyong are tight as f***. And that is only because we have absolutely no romantic attraction to each other at all. So there's no ulterior motive to a connection. And that's why we're able to do that. So that's green. And contrary to what balding, medium, swollen and black teas with cigars and Bugattis will tell you, I actually Bugattis. think men and women can be friends. Honestly, I think they should be friends. There's a lot of pros to not only surrounding yourself with people of one gender. So I'm not talking about women who have platonic guy friends. I'm talking about women who have more dudes lined up than a barbershop the day before Easter. More specifically, God girls who damn. surround themselves with men who want a piece and they choose to play naive. And I this is the mm, this is the thing that gets a little scary. Because do I believe it is that you can able to have a platonic relationship with the opposite sex? Yes, but let's not be naive here. For all my ladies, it is us out there. There is a nigga it is that you may have friend zoned, and, but if you just cracked open that front door, that nigga is barricading through that bitch. He's, he's bum rushing through that fucking door. The moment you give him a slither bit of an, any type of like, oh, a little flirtatious or anything, anything like that, bro. I promise you it is. That man's going to start showing some colors that is that you've never seen before. And you're just going to be confused. I'm like, wait, hold on. Like, how come it is, um, how come it is like, you know, where did this come from? Like, oh my God, like, I didn't know what to say. He liked me or anything like that. Like, yes, you did. Yes, the fuck you did. That man, especially it is if you was in a relationship and you was pillow talking to that nigga that entire time. And, then, and like you crying on this nigga's shoulder and whatnot. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that he cheated on me. Oh my god. And he's just sitting there with the evil smirk, just rubbing your shoulder. It's okay, bro. You know, it's all right. Like, you don't need him. You could find better. That nigga right there is a nigga. That's the herb nigga. It is you need to watch out. You need to watch out for. You need you need to watch out for that. that that's the type of nigga it is you need to look out for. I know you're playing naive because women can just sniff the air and be like, he's cheating. And be right eight times out of 10. I got a homie who caught her man's cheating because her man's friend posted with a girl and she recognized that girl's leg in the background of one of her man's posts from a week prior. Y'all are way more observant than men. So don't tell me I'm tripping for thinking. Listen, for all my ladies that's out there, I need y'all to stop being FBI agents if you're going to still keep that nigga even after this that he cheat. At this rate, let that nigga cheat in, in peace, bro. I can't even say in private because it wasn't private until it, you started getting to your investigation detective gadget ass. Does this still does this still go ahead and accept him afterwards? Then you might as well let that nigga cheat in peace. Making the dude who buys you flowers, gives you free food, and posts you on his Instagram story doesn't see you as just a friend. If you're dating a girl like this, that doesn't mean she's going to cheat on you. Not all women are the same. And to be honest, most of the girls don't even end up sleeping with these friends anyways. But let you get into an argument, bro. She is running a three-second, 40-yard dash to that phone to text that friend about y'all's argument. Oh, he's mm -hmm. doing it again, huh? They says, I'm gonna keep it a stack. If women did the same, <laughs> oh, he doing it again, huh? <laughs> uh, 
I hate that. That's so accurate. Thing, like if some of my female friends were buying me food, taking me mm. out on dates and letting me be a passenger princess, I would take it. So I, I really can't even get mad at y'all for accepting that. Like if I had that type of power over a woman, <sighs> Kind of animate this video today. Hey, shit, don't worry about it. Shirty, you tight shit. Because I animated it for you, tight shit. Because I flowed you, tight shit. Oh my God, Pesty, thank you. But hey, man, <laughs> get you some platonic female friends that will teach you to respect women. But let's continue disrespecting women. Next, we got That's the material crazy. girls. Before I start this one, once again, I cannot blame the women for accepting this one. If I could give a girl good D in basketball and get a track hawk in return, I wouldn't even have to think about it. She could be 84 and I'm a... <coughs> Damn me, mom. I got this one homegirl who left her man yeah. to date this college athlete. You know, the, the college athletes that be getting paid and shit. She left her man to date him and he ended up cheating on her and giving her chlamydia. The craziest part is she's not even really that mad at it because, hey, I mean, the bought her shit. She left her man for a nigga that bought her a coach bag and turned her box into a hot pocket. I mean, shit. I guess the D really was fire. <laughs> but it really nah, doesn't even gotta sick. be like that. It can also be women with rich parents, trust fund babies, all that. And you can have rich parents and be a trust fund baby and not be materialistic. I'm just talking about materialistic women in general. I'm not gonna lie to you, bruh. They be bad, <laughs> but not as bad as your credit score after fucking with them. As someone that's trying to stack bread this year, I really don't got it in me to attempt this shot. I actually take measures to actively avoid these types of women. I got I got this rule of thumb where if I'm like scrolling on someone's IG or if I'm on Tinder or something, if I see a luxury car interior or more than two high-end bags, I'm already knowing what's up. I used to have a BMW and that was until it hit my bank account with a damn spirit bomb. But when I first got it, I was talking to this college girl and she wasn't from America, she was Indian. Pro tip if you're talking to a girl that's not originally from this country and she goes to a good school i need you to know right now that her parents got guap bro to compete with the lifestyle that her rich parents have been giving her since birth you gotta win the squid game or something bro just know that anyways i pick her up she hops in the car and she's like oh my god my little brother has the same car oh, that's crazy what a coincidence so we're talking and shit, and I'm trying to let her connect to the aux to play her music, but I don't know how to do it because I had just got the car. And she, okay, okay, she does that shit with perfect execution, bro. She's like, oh, you don't know how to do this? She starts going in the car and starts showing me the quirks and features. <laughs> Shout out if you get that reference. She starts showing me shit about the car that I didn't even know. But I'm not really tripping. I thought it was kind of funny. But throughout the day, I just found it really hard to relate to her because I don't come from loads of money. So we end up having a little talking stage that lasted about a month or so. But during that talking stage, her dad ended up purchasing her an S-Class, bro. God <laughs> damn. A, a Mercedes S-Class? Yeah, yo, yo, you can't compete with her. You can't compete. You Get out of the league, gang. Get out of the league. A, an, a Mercedes S-Class? Shit, at, at that rate, too, if he's looking for, a, if he's looking for an additional daughter, I'm right here. <laughs> Yo, Reba Gay, thank you so much for the hundred biddies, bro. That, that's that, that that's that money on type of money. You know what I'm saying? That's that money on. He literally got money on for fun on. And just to, to buy to casually buy an S class. Ooh, the, yo, yo, this face right here, pain. Pain, bro. I understand. Out of here, bro. I bro, I ended up getting left in the dust, bro. She ghosted my ass, and I just had to take it because. You're crazy if you think I'm going band for band with a 60-year-old Indian man. You would think he's from Afghanistan the way he Taliban. Oh, next we got Karen's. Do I even really need to explain this one? It's been mad times I've been at restaurants and seen a 60-year-old man sitting like these and his wife yelling at a server or something, bro. I really don't feel like I need to explain why dating a Karen is not a good idea. So I'm gonna just tell you a story instead. As I've said in my most recent video, which I honestly think is my funniest video, so I'm kind of upset that it flopped. I hope you watch it and enjoy it. I said that I don't honk my horn because like I just don't like honking my horn. If something happens, I'm gonna just get out the way. So I remember this one yeah, time. Yeah, I don't I like honking my horn neither. And it was traffic and it was this person. Who I know a couple people it is that will honk their horn and hold on to it like for a long period of time. Listen, I come from the state of New York, bro. When I tell you it is that all I've heard when in level of driving is nothing but honking of horns. I don't do that shit, bro. I do not have road rage whatsoever. Tracer and anybody else it is that was in the car with me at DreamCon could able to attest that is I am not a road rage type of driver. I am very well to do safe 
You know what I'm saying? We chilling, we vibing. Even if somebody do some like fugazi shit in front of me, I may say something, but I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and like, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Whatever the case may have you. And it is because of the fact that I've had friends that I used to hang out with that have the nastiest road rage, and it gets me very nervous. And especially it is y'all lead foot motherfuckers, y'all speed demon motherfuckers, y'all be getting me the most nervous, bro. My entire flight mode kicks in the moment it is you want to be a fucking need for speed nascar race car driver and i'm in the passenger seat holding on to the little bar thing and just hoping and praying to god it is that i make it out of this fucking car ride y'all i can't stand okay y'all put a level of fear on my heart it is that i can't handle who's trying to make a left turn so i'm just waiting for him to make the left turn i'm, I'm stuck this that bar don't do nothing shit. and honks the horn for me who the fuck is doing that and this other time bro i went to this grocery store with this girl and the grocery store had like a parking garage in it so we drive in and the parking garage is like free if you're not there for an hour or something I like do that be so sit down go, in my get seat. Our groceries. we come out and i'm about to leave and i put my ticket in the thing i'm thinking that it's gonna open for free but it says i had to pay seven dollars now i'm not tripping on that because it's like all right whatever i don't feel like making a scene there's people behind me so i go to grab my car to pay for it but this girl lunges like i'm in the driver's seat she's in the passenger seat she lunges over me reaches out of the window and presses the help button person answers and she starts yelling at that nigga like why the fuck is she not free da -da 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 -da. and i'm just sitting oh. there like nah she crashing I out to pay the fee i i guess she, but she like, crashing out it? No, it's just, just embarrassing. She's crashing Next, out. Next, we got Miss Anime Villain Backstory. This one's gonna sound crazy, but let me cook. Meet this girl, uh -oh. and you get to talking to her, and you both kind of like what you see. So you start looking at the car facts, you know, year, make, model, all that. And everything's looking green until you check the accident history and find out some frat boy f up, and now she's a salvage title. Oh, fuck. Hey, hey, hold, hold, time out. Time to fuck out. Until you check the accident history and find out some frat boy f up, and now she's. Yo, yo. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? Now, obviously it is, this is not your girl, Ari the Mermaid. This is not your girl, Ari the Mermaid. But ain't no way it is you put a blue hair variant in this bitch, bro. How you, how you gonna, how you gonna sit there and do that? Listen, I don't want anybody looking at my motherfucking car, car facts or, you know what I'm saying, body facts or whatever the case is, because that's my business at the end of the fucking day. But who the fuck is this girl? Who the fuck is this blue hair bitch? That ain't Ari. I don't know who this variant is. She's a salvage title. Oh, fuck. That's, <laughs> that nah, specifically salvage about titles. A has crazy. Trauma, because a woman who has healed from her trauma is completely different. That is not toxic. If anything, that's impressive. I'm, I'm trying to get like you. I'm talking about an unhealed woman. And I'm going to try this one lightly because it's really not her fault. She was unfortunately dealt a bad card in life. Be it mommy issues, daddy issues, traumatic experience with an ex, traumatic experience in general. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I literally just talked to my mom and my dad yesterday because it was Easter, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I've, I've dealt with a level of traumatic experiences with the exes and stuff like that. But this is why it is that you need to take the, I won't say heal, because healing makes it seem like it is or something wrong with you. Only thing you need to do is just pick up on the red flags. Pay attention to what those red flags are, so then you don't go into the next situation blindly, kind of like how it is that you did before. That's it. But because those terrible things happen to you, you got that right. It is that I am. That you'll self sabotage Zach. the relationship that she's actively trying to build. Not because she wants to. I can't to, believe it is this blue hair bitch is in here. To her trauma. But honestly, that's really not the end of the world. If you could find the right one and not force her to heal, Yo, but gently blue, be there to help her as she heals by herself. If you make it out of that alive, you could actually have a pretty fruitful relationship. But if you do go that route, I want you to know you need to be careful because it is not for the weak. I, I did it. Yo, 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 oh my God, what happened? Uh, I pulled the gun, bro, and daddy is yo, yo. No! To the men and women who have partners who are dealing with their baggage, I want you to know your mental health is important too, and you cannot break yourself trying to fix someone else. And now Back. it's time for some honorable mentions. We've got Ms. Chronically Online. P. 
Period. With this treasure I summon. Miss, I'm just a girl. Shorty, you slashed all my tires and locked me <laughs> in the basement. You're just a felon. Miss, you're the first guy to treat me right. Good luck. Miss, butterfly tats. Good luck. Miss, red hair. Good luck. Miss, overly feminist. I get it. But not every man wants to put you in a pack. Miss, not feminist at all. Pick me. Pick me. Pick me, please. Girl. Have some shame. But that's the end of the video. I hope you guys like it. I'm actually going to make a seven types of toxic men video as well. So write some men archetypes in the comments down below and I might add them to the video. Also, if I missed any women, let me know. I might make I might make more of these if y'all fuck with them. I don't know. It just depends on how the video goes. Once again, don't take this video too seriously. I'm joking. And I hope you guys liked it and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, listen, yo, yo, I appreciate you for that, bro. You like, you like that, you know? Seven different types of toxic women and everything like that, you know? Yo, yo, shout out to you, gang. Appreciate the video. I'm gonna go ahead and like that. Shout out to y'all in the chat. And shout out to you at home. I'll catch y'all in the next video.